Hey, hello and welcome back. Um, got the paranormal flashlight set up behind me. It seems to be responding. It's been slow throughout the day. Um, I only invite beings in up from the light to work that flashlight. And I'm sure there are days they have better things to do. And I'm always humbled and thankful whenever they come in and take control of that light. <clears throat> All right, this is just a daily read, just a general feel for the day's energy, what the pitfalls and the hurdles may be. See if we can find some guidance in your world. All right, let's see what we've got here. All right. <clears throat> We've got the moon card. One of the first ones that jumped out of the deck. And there's some hidden anger that's been been going on here. Maybe you yourself have been keeping something bottled up, uh, not wanting to deal with it. I feel like you may have been dealing with somebody that may have kind of maybe been bipolar. And a lot of people have not been able to cope with the energies that we have been having. Um, at one point we had five planets that were retrograde and that certainly made for a lot of energy. <laughs> Thank you, kitty, kitty. Um, it certainly made for a lot of energy that a lot of people didn't know how to process. Uh, a lot of people lashed out, they got angry. Um, I, I hope you guys can see me. I got a new tripod and it, it wiggles when the cameraman operates it. <laughs> um, but the energies have been really hard for a lot of people to process. Lashing out um, or going inside and it becoming very, very depressed. All right, pal, you're gonna have to beat it. You're laying on the cards. Go here. There we go. Thank you. Um, but you had to dig forth and you had to get your uh, you had to get your kitty off the table too. Uh, here with the lion card, you had to pull some strength out. You really didn't think you had it in you to step outside this situation. Um, but you did some healing. We have the four of swords that came up. Now, the, you had been really reluctant to move forward. You didn't even want to heal. You kind of wanted to wallow a little bit in the I feel bad um, because you did not know how to process this. The dog and the cat are fighting, so if you hear any noise and it looks like an animated Pixar <laughs> cartoon, the cat is beating up the dog. Um, but you have needed to do some healing, still some more to come. You kind of thought the Hierophant came up and you kind of thought that this was going to end up in something that was more structured, something that was a little more permanent. Um, and it didn't. It's okay because you kind of dodged a bullet here. And that's literally what this five of cups is about. That change that needs to happen. Um, this person did not pan out to be who you thought they were. A little bit of false representation there. May even been a third party uh, individual participating in it. <laughs> it's, or, <laughs> it's the cat's tail. I'm telling you, some days doing a video here is <laughs> it's a test of patience and virtue. <laughs> Love you, little cat. You do bring some good energy to the studio. But there you are. You're, you know what? You're reluctant to move forward, but yet you're going to. Getting ready to step back into the Queen of Pentacles energy that you had. A little more confidence before. Um, you know what? You're starting to remember that. And you're starting to pull it up and, and pull that confidence forward. Go away. Go away. 
you can always tell when spirits in the room because the cat gets playful. Um, yeah, you're going to come back into your confidence in who you are. Somebody's got their shit together. Unlike yours truly here. Um, it is going to bring in a new connection. We have the two of <laughs> the two of cups. Did you smile? Are you your photo bomb in my video here? Hey, can we? Can I get you to go? All right, yeah, that's a good spot. If you just hold still. Uh, hang on, let me get rid of the cat. <laughs> All right, I, I finally got chased the cat out of here. Now the dog wants back. Quick, let's finish this reading. But there is a new connection coming. Now the two of cups represents it might possibly be a soulmate. Now soulmate can be uh, a fifth grade teacher, it can be a cousin, um, but it is very. It's a lot more general and common than what most people think. So this is somebody that you've got some karma to work out with. All right, grabbing the other deck, getting ready to. Pull some jumpers for some validation. Sometimes it takes a couple trips through the deck for those jumpers to get in the right spot. time spirit can I have some jumpers please I'm gonna take that one sometimes they just make themselves known in unusual ways and there's one headed another direction and we're gonna pull that that's the last one I need actually nine of wands <clears throat> that nine of wands is telling me that you're done done trying to deal with this, this is almost uh, it's not quite the ten of wands it's not the end of that cycle but we also have the ace of wands coming up so the beginning's coming yeah you've got kind of wounded warrior energy coming forward here um you've been you're done getting beat up fed up with it really ready to just uh chuck it all and say hey fresh beginning new start um i'm ready to let it go don't worry let it go that's what this ace of wands is about um, this could very well even be a work connection for somebody. For a lot of you, it is going to be a romantic connection, but you know, it's sometimes the wand indicate, indicates work, uh, communication, um, a lot of different things, but intuitively I'm picking up that this could be a work connection for some of you. Um, you know, that guy that your dad worked with at the mill for 30 years side by side, those guys were soulmates. Okay, it is soulmate is simply somebody that impacts you uh, in one way, shape, or form in your life, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent. Um, but that new beginning is going to happen. Definitely at a crossroad with the judgment card. Yeah, you are you are very reluctant to, to step forward. Not sure where you were going to land. like where is you know like you're afraid to fly off the merry-go-round kind of analogy here um and then again we have another nine card that comes up <clears throat> nine of pinnacles um it could be a virgo that you, you're dealing with um doesn't have to be but that nine of pinnacles is somebody that is pretty confident pretty secure um they're usually independent and single they can't be an entrepreneur uh the nine is also about getting ready to wrap up a cycle it's not quite the 10, not the celebratory card, but it is definitely the foundation that gets you on the road to the 10 card. We have the six of cups. This connection that is coming through is, I think this connection is going to carry through for a long time. Um, if it's another work buddy that you may be working next to, this is going to be one of those friends that stand the test of time. Uh, somebody that is always there to have your back. It could be a big age difference too. 
um, one of these people, whether and it's even in a, it could be a romantic relationship, uh, one of these people is a lot older than the other. Um, if it is a business or work relationship, it's one of them is a mentor and the other one is kind of the student. All it takes for you to step into this new energy is this leap of faith that the full card brings. Um, sometimes ignorance is bliss and that's exactly who the fool is. Um, trust in the universe. It's going to catch you. That's what that zero card is right over his head signifies God. All right, you guys, there you have it. Uh, daily general reading with all the dog and cat interruptions and the cat playing with the video uh, equipment. I never leave you guys that I don't bless you with love and light. See you soon.